Right here in the stew. Oh, got a sippy set. Where's yours? What are you, are you watching? Your, are you watching your frame? You can't have a little extra sugar. Yeah, watching your frame. No, I got my little. What they call that joint again? What was oh. that? Acai bowl. Yeah, I got that. I'm straight. Yeah. Oh, yeah. is your mic on? Yeah, it's on, man. Is your mic on? It is on. How are you today? I'm good. Acai bowl. Feeling good? Yeah. Yeah. Healthy, man. Yeah. It uh, it's your first one. No. Is that your first acai bowl? No. You didn't you didn't know how to order it when we went and ordered them? Yeah, but I had one in your car. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, but you never, like, had one, like, on your own. You never ordered, you never placed an order, an acai order on you. Do you know what an acai bowl is? Do you, like, you know what it is? Like, a bowl with fruits. Yeah, pretty much. Uh -huh. yeah. Acai. Acai is the actual. Is the actual what? Fruit. Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah. it's, it's known down. You can find it down there in Central and South America. Mm -hmm. Really nice, potent fruit for antioxidants. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just saying. <laughs> I, mean, I love I, these I, things. I, I didn't. I didn't know all that. I mean, I'm, yeah, I, I man, you get the crash and, and you got it like how I get with the extra granola. You got the granola mm -hmm. and you got the peanut the butter. Peanut butter. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Acai bowl. Listen on the Kiss and Tea podcast episode forty. Acai three. Kyle. Yeah, I, I do, 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 do the acai three. No, you messed me up. Con, 43. 40 acai three. Acai three. Acai three. Acai three. Acai Yeah, kissing three. You get it? Yeah, man, I get it. Acai. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you one thing. One thing about these acai bowls that I actually cherish and I appreciate is that they are comforting. Mm -hmm. They're good. They feel healthy. I, when I'm eating them, I feel better about myself. I'm sorry to cut you off. I'm yes. just, I'm a little uneasy right now because I just, I just, I understand the topic we're about to talk about. So I'm a. Uh, and here's my segue. No, so I'm a. Go and, ahead. So, Go ahead. and so what I would recommend is, mm -hmm. as we as we journey into this very <laughs> interesting topic that I we're going to have a discussion about, yeah. I would encourage you to use your acai bowl as a place of comfort, <laughs> as a as a place Say of less. refuge. Say less. I'm going to need that right now. I want you to just remind yourself that Fr you're putting some it. really good stuff in your body, and you're just thinking about your temple, and you want to re re refrain from <sighs> anger. <laughs> Anger. Word. No. Really. Acai. Acai. Excuse me, people. Huh? You see how that went? I got angry a little bit. Thinking about what we were going to discuss. Okay. Took a little bite. A little spoon of my acai. Mm -hmm. I feel better now. It's my wusa. Martin had wusa. We got acai. <laughs> okay. We got acai. Ladies and gentlemen. It's a little backstory about my week. <laughs> Talk to me. I, uh, as you know, kiss. I, I haven't been followed. Shout out to Philly, Philly, Philly Phillies. Word. World Series in the World Series or into about to go to something like about that. About to go to in the World Series. Something like that. That's yeah. where everybody just kind of let you know where my head has been at. Kind of. Not only you, bro. You too. It's been crazy. It's been yeah. Like, head like been world. down. I don't know what's been going on, bro. It's like sorry to cut you off, man. I know you want to get to your week, man. It's like the world been either busy or sick or both. For the past, like, right. for the past, like yeah, nah, man, and, and you know, a few weeks, man, it's been crazy. I, I think it's you know uh, uh, something to be said just about learning the times and learning the season that you're in and operating accordingly and just trying to be as efficient and understanding the season. You're, I just think we're in a busy season right now for everybody, right? And right. recognizing that person right. to person, but right. you know, being it, as it as it may, you know, throughout that busyness, uh, with the Philadelphia Phillies going basically to the World Series, with the Philadelphia Eagles basically going practically undefeated. I mean, well, you know, as of today, we what? Was it seven and zero? Seven and zero. So, yes, sir. I say all that as a build up to say none of that even got caught my attention to what we're about to discuss because yeah, I mean, there was one thing that took place. Someone wore a White Lives Matter T-shirt. Right, piqued my interest. Didn't get my full commitment. Yep. What feels like maybe what four days later, which seemingly couldn't be any type of way you can top the headlines of White Lives Matter. This gentleman, the artist formerly known as Kanye West, he uh, he changed his name legally, so he goes right. by the name of Ye. I imagine Ye West has now seemed to have ruffled plenty of feathers. Including a whole community, a couple communities. Now that you think about it, 
Oh, we gonna oh, yes, sir. You busting, you busting, no, you no, busting, you busting, you <laughs> busting. No, not even, not even, not it's even. The bullet, bullet plate for the for the for the folks just checking in right now. Thank you all for tuning in, right? I'm good. But he's ruffled some feathers. Okay, he right. said some things that weren't so nice about a particular population. We've spoken off camera about if, in fact, we wanted to sort of even touch this whole circus and debacle all right. on so many layers, and so I will pause. We will get your thoughts. Kiss, please. No, listen. Let us know how you feel about this situation. Kanye West, the, the, the artist formerly known, the person formerly known as Kanye West. Yay West. Yes, sir. So, what say you? It's a lot to unpack. As and, I um, unpack my sippy? No, nah, yeah, real rap. Um, and, you know, leading up to this, um, to the decision of actually even speaking about this. Yes. First thing I said, listen, man, we're going to have to have like about. Six episodes. You're thinking about when we this. should run a series to really, yeah. really, really yeah. Right, unpack right. Right. So, some um, things. I think today, this show, at least for me, I need to focus on the folks who's out here being um, empathetic, supportive, um, somewhat, you okay. know, understandable of, you know, my man's actions. Are we saying yay, yay, sympathizers, folks right. who... Sympathizers, mm -hmm. contributors, yes, you know, enablers, whatever you want to call it. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just... You know, I was having a conversation, like, are we... Like, homeboy really think we're stupid, right? Homeboy as in yay. Yeah. Okay, I just want to... <laughs> right? Got some heat coming. Maybe you need to take a... <laughs> the acai. Right. All right? I'm just saying, you're already going. You know, we, 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 we want to remain... Sensible about this, <laughs> even when discussing the nonsense, we want to be no. sensible about this, and we don't want emotions to prevail, right? Right. But um, I'm not sure how that's not gonna happen. But I was gonna be honest, <laughs> like you know how we was like, you know what, let's <sighs> let's let's just be, you know, let's let's try to be as um yes, you know, as even as possible. Oh, as you know, what I mean, like it's very hard not to, I mean, get you know emotionally connected to this, but you know. I think we we're, Thank you for, they, we should at least acknowledge that. Right, right. It's hard. It's yeah. hard to separate yeah, yeah. the two, right? But I mean, yeah. I'm gonna try my best, right? I just think you know what I mean. Me like, too. I'm looking at it as you know what I mean, like these fools out here, you know, that's actually you know again these these sympathizers. Yes, yes. I, but I, I don't understand. You know what I mean? So <laughs> I want to like try to break it down to the oh we play. got time yeah yeah we got a little time you know what i mean like <laughs> like the play the rod he's taking you folks for yeah. and how dangerous there's it there's is. the word you know what i mean like there's, folks think there's the word I mean? like i'm not talking about my man losing any money i'm not talking about you know none of that nope none of that we'll get we'll get to that probably episode three you know what i mean i think you know what trumps this is i mean like just how dangerous this is you know I mean, in terms of what he's saying, but more importantly, you know, the following, you know, that he's getting. Like, bro, these dudes are, these sympathizers, in my view, whatever case would be, these sheeps, mm, whatever case would okay. be, it's like, <laughs> are you kidding? Like, I, I honestly, like, yo, you don't honestly, you don't see the Republican playbook, the Trump 2.0 playbook on this? You no, know what I mean? Like, I, I, don't, I don't think they do, uh, which is, we could talk, we could certainly talk about, I don't, I don't believe, I don't. I don't know if associations are being made, and frankly, I don't even know if the, you're dealing with some folks who even meddle in critical thought and even really We're, analyze critically. And so right, they're not making those associations. Right, for, for folks who's out here saying that they legit gonna vote for, you know, um, Kanye West. I'm sorry, what is formerly known Kanye West? What the yay, whatever yay. case it be, mm -hmm. 2024. Are you kidding me? Are you? Yeah. You know no, what I mean? Uh, so for folks for folks out here saying, like, I'm sorry to cut you off. Like, no. You know what I mean? Like, what he's saying with this whole, you know, they got like this, they got this boogeyman out there. You know what I'm saying? Maybe we should talk about what our issues with. What, 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 what did you, why are you saying, what, what, where is this coming from? From me or from, what do you mean? Like, why do you feel this way about it? I mean, just the hate speech. Thank you. Know you know what I mean? I was going to get there. Oh, okay. You know okay. what I mean? Like, for him to just, you know what I mean, try to just label a whole group, a community. You know what I mean? The Jewish community, you know what I mean? Coming after me. You know what I mean? Like, there's somewhat this boogeyman, this boogeyman out there, whatever, you know what I mean? That's just controlling everything out there. No, bro. Like, these are just consequences that you have to face, mm -hmm. whatever case may be, for saying things that is just 
not just out of the norm, straight dangerous. Okay, can we can we park there for a second? For sure. There are some uh, uh, there there's some opposing viewpoints that I believe that I, I just on social media that I've I've witnessed that would speak to the point of this particular population holds all the power and they're selective about who they uh, allow access to that power and therefore Ye is showing the world that these that this these powers that be uh i'm not going to use the words he used the powers that be control the voice of the black community and so his his whole gripe is they need to stop uh censoring which in fact is happening there he's being quote quote censored so these people are saying look he's proven to you all he's proven to you what are you talking about why why can't you see that he's proven that there's a group of people out there who are able to censor you censor your voice censor your first amendment right what's wrong with that <laughs> what's wrong with that you let me you let me do all that <laughs> what's wrong with that uh, right, so you out here saying the Jewish community, <laughs> mm-hmm. you know, they they control, you know, the um the media. That's right. Whatever case may be, they're trying to censor me. That's what he said. Whatever case may be, because I'm saying just you know, outlandish, dangerous stuff, you know, um that took place before, because that's how it starts. You know what I'm saying with these idiots that's actually that's actually you know, trying to make a link, whatever. You know what I mean trying to make a distinction between you know what they are. You know, there is some truth to it. No, whatever case it be. So it's like, so that's my issue. You know what I mean? My issue is like, and I mean, again, I'm, I'm trying to hit. I'm looking at it from, like, you're trying to start a. I'm gonna keep it a buck, man. Like, oh, you're so really, many layers here. There's so many layers, whatever case it be. But you just cannot have. You know, you you're on social media. You have what upwards of whatever hundred million followers. You can't say certain things. Whatever the case may be. You can't just label a group of people as just, you know what I mean? Like, you know, they're out to get me. You know what I mean? I'm going, I'm, I'm, what, is, what do you say? I'm waking up, I'm going to DEFCON 3 mm-hmm. on X, Y, and Z, this, that, and third. Like, what are you talking about, fam? What, like, what are you talking about? You need to be a little bit more responsible. You know what I'm saying? And and I think you're, you're, you're asking too much from a child. Right. And this is, and, and my, my, more of my beef is with these folks who's trying to make some sense out of this. It's straight up straight that black and white hate speech. That's all it is. You know what I mean? <sighs> with a play. You know what I mean? Like I mean like my man is playing them like a violin, whatever the case may be, right? I don't know if I you know what I mean I, I arrive at the party pretty late. You know what I'm saying, in terms of, you know, the the the, the interview on um Drink champs, whatever case may be. You know what I mean? I seen it and I'm just like, come on, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, my man is again from a politician, you know what I mean? Like, he got that playbook. Whatever I, I said it before, my man Trump two point Uh it's clearly Trump two point oh. What's scarier is where even Trump got it from. Word. Um, some of the folks that both have been sort of on record and admitted to somewhat um, praising, revering, respecting in certain rights. All of that, whatever case may be. Injecting the Bible. My man made reference to Moses like three, four times during that interview. Called himself the rod. You had some asshole in the back saying amen. I don't know who the hell that was. I'm sorry? And my man had these deliberate p- pauses. You know what I'm saying? For punchlines. And just for you, know I mean, it's like, just one of the, I mean, just like, again, I mean, like, it's just, Pulling the bait out there, and you got a bunch of folks who's just, you know I mean, jumping on the bait. You know what I mean? And at the same time, you got a bunch of supporters just, you know I mean, just really reinforcing what it said, what he's saying about the Jewish community. Oh, they out here doing this. They out here doing that. Like, what are you, what are you so mad about? You know what I'm saying? It's like, so that's my issue with it. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, like, I don't expect nothing better or nothing more, rather, from a, a five-year-old. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? But well, well you, you speak of a five year old. I, I I think if we if we wanna because I think covering yay, well he will have you all over the place. Just Facts. like that and just like that three hour Facts. long train wreck. That's intentional. So it, without question. And so I don't want him allow him to do that at least for to allow to 
take away our focus word, from what we word, want to talk about word. as we dissect mm-hmm. all of this. And I'm thinking at this point, at least in this juncture, we need to talk about the source. We could talk about the antics and all that, but we talk about just who this person is and who he, at least in my mind, has showed us who he is. Right. Right? Right. Um, And I think in in large part, that three-hour train wreck, that, that Drink Champs interview, showed us a lot of who we're dealing with. Mm-hmm. A narcissistic five-year-old. Facts. Richie Rich. Facts. Like, Somebody who, from whatever reason, due to his popularity, notoriety, what have you, he's gained the influence and notoriety to then somehow or another have a a population of people who are saying yes to any and everything that he says and does, even confirming that he's a quote unquote genius. Bro, this is a five year old narcissist. Yep. That has somehow or another gained a cult, and I mean that word literally. Yeah, absolutely. Following. Absolutely. That is hanging off everything he absolutely. is saying. Absolutely. And when you use the word, the D word you used word earlier, dangerous. Facts. That is exactly what's happening, especially when you're dog whistling or not. Mm-hmm. The same rhetoric that a population that, listen. I know what's true now that was speculative a week ago. He calls it the quote unquote Jewish media and they're the ones shutting him down and they're the ones making that happen. Before last week, that was all kind of speculative that that could happen. Sure. Oh, I know it could happen now. You know why? Because you didn't show me. Mm-hmm. Now, yeah. So you, you're, you were right in already sort of confirming what we already as a population knew anyway. Right. There are a subset of people, and I'm not even going to make it a cultural thing. There are a subset of people who have influence, power, and have in, uh, uh, relationships across the media world, across the rap world, record label, or whatever you want to call it, Hollywood world, that you come at them or their friends, they're going to unite Okay, that's something we don't really have a concept of, right. at least in our community. Yes, I, I, I understand why folks, like, oh my God, it's foreign. It's foreign. I, it's, I, it's a foreign I, I, thing. I, you know, I get why in our community, it's, you, it's, you, you know, look, you look at it as, you know what I mean? Like, oh my God, what's happening? Because if know, the shoe happen? was on yeah. the other foot, right? But the other black, if it was, the shoe was on the browner foot. Facts. Facts. We shut it down and, 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 and smoke them. You, <laughs> we smoking our ops. Yeah, yeah we didn't yeah, just yeah. shut them down. Facts. You just said it. You get you get Talk mad. About. You get mad at a group of folks who wants to mobilize, unite to make sure that your dangerous rhetoric that's right don't turn into action because they've seen this before yeah. and heard this right. before as a community. So they they so they're and I said this off camera to you. What are we you talking about? The whole the whole the whole saying never again, never well, again, fam, and, and they, they proven it. Yeah, to you. it's not. Yeah, like you to be to never again means you gotta be vigilant. I mean, you this this you know what I mean there's some proactive measures you gotta take. So, of course you're gonna entrench yourself in media. Of course you're gonna interest, entr- entrench yourself in, in in markets where you're gonna make sure this it doesn't happen again. Whatever well, case it be, what's wrong with that? Especially as, according to a couple of historical references, when you're kind of forced to certain industries because you've been marginalized and pushed Facts. out of a whole bunch Facts. of other industries. That's a whole other well, topic. Well, listen, sorry to cut you off. I can't even. We can't even you know have that dialogue. You know what I'm saying with Mister Ye. Whatever case, because he wouldn't know, because he doesn't read. Well, that's we, tell, yeah, so. I'm that's, all. You mean again? That train wreck will have you all over the place. I'm sorry. Continue. No, he definitely will. Yeah, yeah. Um, come on, fam. And getting just back to the source in terms of sort of like the 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 again the source of just this, this entire debacle. We're talking about a narcissistic five year old that if you just look through even historical uh, interviews as he that he's done, but let's just talk about the three hour. Nori, that's just the most recent one that everybody can kind of sure. point reference to. The man referenced God when he wanted to. Right. When it was convenient. Mm-hmm. He talked about how rich he was and how he do rich ish. <laughs> and he'll laugh. And he you also talked about how you referenced earlier about how he'll throw something out there and almost sit with a pregnant pause waiting for confirmation from the peanut gallery to give him his amen to give him his amen. whatever he needed like i just uh, and shame i got to say it shame on nori 
Shame on him. Shame on the entire team. Shame like, on that whole come production. On, facts. Like, come on, bro. That was a train wreck. I think that was an example of if you dare claim to be somewhat of a gatekeeper of a culture, you fell asleep or you were drunk on the job. No pun intended, because that was terrible. Bro. For so many reasons. And dangerous. Dangerous, terrible, reckless. Whatever the case may be, premature, whatever you want to call it. At one point, dangerous. at one point, uh, I seen my, I seen Mr. Ye like smirk when Nori was like, and I mean, at some point, you know, I kind of, I was kind of scared. This and thirty. I mean, he's he's he used the word fear, and Kanye, Mr. Ye, rather whatever the case was like. Well, I kind of like that. I kind of like. I mean, uh, you know, I have that effect on people. I scare people, bro. You don't scare nobody. First of all. <laughs> Stop it, whatever the case may be. But again, when it goes to your point, my man's always, always trying to. Man, you know what I got from this whole thing, bro? It's like, I'm perfect. You know what I'm saying? He did it, she did it, whatever. These are all the reasons why, you know what I'm saying, this is happening, whatever the case may be. This is the all, it's all the reason why I'm saying this, I'm saying that, whatever the case may be. But I still want the culture to rock for me. At one point, my man said, Pete was laying in the bed with my wife, Kim. Whatever case they bro, or my ex wife, whatever, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm paraphrasing right now. And the culture did nothing for me. They just let that happen. But yet I, I wear a White Lives Matter t shirt and they come for me. What are you implying? Again, this is why you think I'm stupid? Like, you, you, you know what I mean? Like, folks seen this play before, we've read about this before, this is in history. Are you implying that the culture should have done something for you? That's exactly what you you're saying. saying? That's, yeah, you're are you saying. out of your mind, man? Like, fit. You know what? Go ahead, Frank. Well, yeah, it's funny. You talk about culture. I, well, I, I find it interesting how he even leverages the word culture. What culture is he talking to and about? Um, he, he uses a lot of Trumpy type of rhetoric intertwined with, with culture. And I just think he's trying to serve two masters right now. I think he's talking to those Trump culture type folk. You think he's talking to trying to talk, trying to keep. I guess was left left the black folk that's still rocking for him, which apparently there's some pockets that are. Um, but be it as it may, um, it's troubling. It's troubling that folks would, at the very least, try to rationalize right. a man running around. Uh, listen, I don't care what's going on. I don't care what type of perspective you have of Kim Kardashian. Mm -hmm. That is kind. That is your wife. Mm -hmm. You are on. Social media mm -hmm. demeaning her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What, what are we talking about? And then you look, you on social media talking about they kidnapped your kids and you want who to intervene? Who? Right, right, Me? Right, right. Like, right. who Who are you asking right. to do what exactly? Right, right. You know what I'm talking right, about? Right. You. And yet we sit back and we say it and we like applaud it? Right. What are we talking about? Like, folks, he just. I'm not doing it. To do his bidding. I'm not doing it. Whatever case may be. Again, not right out of the Trump playbook. It's it's you know it's just throwing so many. Just I don't know what you want to call it. Distractions, what have you. The the crazy thing is, I, and again, I I guess Trump proved me wrong on this. Is these distractions don't make you presidential. They, in fact, you look crap, the, the opposite. What make you think you? What make you think 2024 is going to happen? You well, doing all of this? Well, I mean, again, back to that playbook. It's just like the. The the whole approach. I'm gonna throw the kitchen sink. <sighs> whatever case, and see what's, what 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 sticks. Whatever it's case, terrible, man. Yeah, it's all it's the like, ego play, right? It's all ego. It's all narcissism. It's all he never grew up. And a whole bunch of people around him, I guess, telling him, "Yay, yay, amen." If I may, <sighs> with everybody, it's defining, annoying. It's annoying. Defining what's happening to him. Oh, he lost two billion dollars in one day. He's being censored. He's been marginalized, all of that. No. It's called consequences in life. That's it. That's all it is. Yeah. yeah it's yeah, called consequences. Yeah. Yep. You know what I mean? So when a five year old act up, whatever case it be, you're gonna take away that's, that's, whatever case that's it be all I see. with that five year old wants more. That's all I see. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The bread, you know what I'm saying? The deep pockets, you know what I mean? And the megaphone. That's all. Consequences. Watch what you say out here, bro. You know, we're talking about privately held companies. What we doing? That got business decisions to make about who they allow to either have access to their platform, use their platform, leverage their platform to 
put their own message sure. out. It could be a Twitter. It could sure. be a Facebook. It could be sure. all these. These are privately held companies that have friends that are investors mm -hmm. and that own owners and shares in this company. Mm -hmm. You want to um, throw stones at this population who has friends in these companies and don't think they're going to leverage that influence? You said out of your mouth, Adidas ain't going to cancel me. Right. Even if I say a, whatever he said. Right. He said it like, th he repeated himself right. three times. Right. right. And I I watched that interview and I just like, I said to myself, man, like this is, I had to pause a few times. You know what I mean? Because it's like, Adidas ain't going to. <laughs> and you, you got man, these just jokers. just a spell on himself. Yeah, you got these jokers co-signing it, reinforcing it. I don't want okay, you know, so I really listen, please Traffic in the comments, in talk to us, make it make sense. What There's okay, somebody so watching this right now that, that that makes sense to you and he's showing you the way and he's showing you what the Illuminati or the what they say quote unquote Juminati. Yeah, bro, like, like what are you talking about? Bro, you offend like, a group of people who got some influence and power, they're gonna they gonna step that. on you. And that's that. They're gonna step on yeah, you. Yeah, and that's that. You're that's, getting that's, stepped on, yay. As you should. <laughs> You're you getting could. stepped on. You like to use references about George Floyd. He, remember, you like to pull that out. Oh, yeah. I know what it feels like to get stepped on. I guess so. No, you don't. But that's the dumbest yeah, type of no, you don't. E and false equivalency I've ever seen. And you still got black folks rocking with him, trying to rationale. Listen, trying man. to I mean, hide behind Listen, all types. It's of consequences excuses. for what you say. Facts. Two fifty million in a hole. You about to be because you allegedly want want to go off and say Again. What, what wasn't true about what happened to Mr. Floyd. When a five year old acts up, reckless. He exactly. Upset. Exactly. That's all. Whatever exactly. And that's you know that's I mean? just like, how this go. And like <laughs> and like for the folks who don't understand how dangerous this is, Mr. Ye know what ex exactly what he's doing. Oh, he's question. pandering. You know what I'm saying to people's prejudices. Their racism, yeah. some stuff that you know was already entrenched long before his his dumb ass got on, got on scene. Right. Whatever case, so he knows he knows all that. He knows what the George community faces twenty four seven. Back, you know I mean, he know everybody know that. Whatever case may be, you know what I mean, like he knows again, not dog whistles, man. You know what I mean, he it's like bullhorns, mm -hmm. sirens, whatever. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean, he know he knows the play. He knows the play. He said in that same interview that one thing he was jealous about was Facts. the unity. Yeah, and he said it too. I'm jealous about it. You, <sighs> these jokers are still right away. How much hubris do you have to have within your body, your vessel, your spirit, your toes, your mind, your soul? How much ego do you have to have to openly acknowledge in the same interview that these peop these people, these people, uh, he calls it the Jewish. I can speak ill about them and they won't cancel me. Right. right. I can say whatever right. I want. Right. And this is another issue that I have from the rip. And this is why I think it was a true disservice, Mr. Noriega and Mr. DJ EFN, when you have somebody on the platform who openly says, it isn't anti-Semitic what I says because I'm a Jew. Right. But then you go on to chastise Jews. <laughs> What? Which one is it? Which side are we on here, Mr. Ye? But, you know, the folk out there are so in encapsulated with the nonsense, they're not sticking to what, what, what the facts is. He listen, said, I'm a Jew. Yeah, listen, I ain't a press. And now he's talking about the Jew media. Facts. Listen, man, I'm, I'm not a professional at this. I can't. I can't. I'm not a, I'm not a journalist. <sighs> I don't prep too much, whatever case it be, but you said Nori and who else? It was D, D, it's Nori. Who is that guy? It's Drink Champs, DJ EFN. Okay, the dude <laughs> that just I'm drink my sippy was not. He just couldn't shut the hell up and let. You know what I mean? Like Kanye answer specific questions. He would like just answer for him and just see. You know I mean, provide cover for him. You know what I'm saying? Like That's if you're going to actually conduct an interview. Let homeboy speak for himself. Like, shut the hell up. You know what I mean? That's why I asked you. I'm like, yo, who is this dude? You need some acai. No, no, seriously. You, 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 know need, I mean? you, you need some of the acai because you are upset with DJ no, EFN. No, man, whatever. Listen, listen. My man made reference, right? <laughs> What's his name? DJ who? EFN. <laughs> they, was having DJ a, EFN. they was having a dialogue and he was trying to press... Mr. Ye by some some scenario, whatever, mm -hmm. whatever case of men, and this five year old's response was like, "Listen, when 
when God gave Moses the Ten Commandments, whatever the case may be, he told him to rock out. You know what I'm saying? Like, handle that situation. I'm paraphrasing, obviously. Yeah. You know what I mean? They didn't really don't have, they didn't really have a plan for, you know, the... Parting of the sea. Parting of the sea. You yep. know what I mean? I remember. You know, they're going to cross that bridge when, you know, when they when, when they get to that bridge. Again, I'm, I'm paraphrasing. Yep. DJ who? What's his name? EFN. Let it ride. Of course he did. Let it ride. It's, it's, it's... Dangerous. The man just re- <laughs> he just referred himself to Moses. You had somebody else in the clan that was saying like Amen, and I'm like, man, they. And I used to drink, <laughs> all right, but it was a train wreck, man. That, fam, that, was, that like, interview was, it was telling. I guess it was needed because this is somebody with a lot of influence who was trajecting. He was a billionaire, and. So this had to have happened. He tell, he likes to talk about God, exposure, and I I believe is is God's major. That's what he majors in. He's going to expose you. Fam, yeah, and, you know what I'm saying. And that this that, five year old's been exposed, man. Facts in that community, whatever the case may be, <clears> that <throat> you know you just you want to demonize and just you know single out whatever the case may be. They just all they're going to do is reinforce their positions and power as they should. To make sure this never happens again. This is a crash course for him. You know what I mean? Like, you can't... Would you let slavery happen again? <laughs> if it was up to you, would you let slavery happen again? I told you this. You know what I right? mean? Like, like, what are we talking about? Like, I'm the not, answer's no. Yeah, heck no. And I'm doing whatever I yeah, can. Whatever with, I can. Whatever's in my resources, whatever's in my power, what whatever's in my body to make whatever sure it doesn't happen again. Whatever I can. What are we talking about? What are we talking about? You want to start talking that talk? <laughs> yeah, right? Okay. 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 <laughs> you okay. can't do. Okay. Wait. You can't get what? If you say what? Come on. No. Right. Heard you. Okay. Right. Okay. Heard you. Okay. Listen. Okay. Heard you. Right. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> That's exactly what they say. Heard you. Okay, Mister Twenty Twenty Four. Listen, man. Right. Okay, Mister. What are we talking about? Like you just you hit it on the head. Like you Bobby's really gonna me. let and it's that a group, simple. A group of dudes enslave you right now. I already know I'm doing whatever, whenever That's right. to never go back to yep. that. Yep. You know what I mean? You're going to criticize another you know what I mean, group of folks for making sure that, you know what I mean, like they're pro whatever. But mis- again, <sighs> that concept is just so foreign in our community. We just can't be pro black, whatever. So when another group is just pro whatever, yeah. it's like, oh my God, whatever the case may be. What, Sad, I, man. I, I, don't, I, don't, I think because the news or the, the interview was so big. I haven't heard too many conversations about the whole the white lives matter. Was he upset? He was. Did he say he was? Uh, did I hear correctly that he said he was upset with the very culture and community? So he wanted to. Uh, I want you know. I guess he wanted to punish his kids, right? What does that say? That's what I heard. Like, am I bugging? No, did he say that. No, he he said that in reference to Pete. You know what I'm saying? Being bad, being in bed with Kim. Oh, like so he, culture, he was upset with us. Yeah, he was upset. He was upset with us, <laughs> yeah, the culture. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So that's why he wore the white, li- white lives matter. White lives matter, right? So let's let me stay there for a second. So you was upset with just the culture. So you just wanted black folk to do something for you. You know what I mean? Like, think about it. This child, cool. I can't. And um, and nor are you going child. you want traffic that? Like, come on, bro. Well, okay. How old we at? Tw- where we at? Thirty. We at thirty three. Okay. Uh. Really quickly, because I, I do listen. Listen, you all. If you really would like for us to, un- this is so. You all know this is so much. You can't cover this in one episode. We truly thought about unpacking it, almost doing reactions to the entire interview, just because there was so many misquotes, so many things that were just so not right, so many things that just were let slid by the host and and the co-host of, of that show. Can I just interject really, really quickly? I mean, if you just want to, uh, just a pattern of history, whatever, the brutus, most brutal dictatorships, dictators rather, or the folks, you know, who just committed the most heinous crimes on earth, right, always refer to what? The Bible. You know what I mean? That should give you pause, man. I mean, so so for these folks, I mean, not Mr. Ye who doesn't read, but these folks, you know, who want to take a crash course of history, man. Just understand how folks use the Bible as a cover, you know what I mean, to um, try to rationale what they're doing. That So much more, we feel like we want to really unpack and link it to just how dangerous it actually could be when you're leveraging tools like the Bible, 
when you're leveraging tools like your 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 fame, your influence, your billionaire status. Um, but you want to say in one vein how much you're a billionaire, but in the next vein you want to say how much uh, rich people need to be demonized. Wow. And so you're saying this in the same interview. And so we want to unpack this. And so if you think that's something that's worthy of, and we want to interact, and we want to understand your your perspectives on it, make sure you leave a comment. We'll be sure to just make sure, make a little series on this because it's it's dangerous. But we don't we, uh, we're, uh, we're a little confused as to how some folk don't recognize right how how dangerous this could be not only to a, a, a certain community directed toward a certain community, but just the understanding of knowing that if 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 you were in the position of 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 authority or if you had any type of position of influence and somebody attacked you and your people um how would you react i i don't where are we losing so how would you react what would you do would you just put your hands on your put your sit on your hands and not do nothing just let them attack you i would like to know i i'm a little confused by it again i'm a little coming a little late to the party um but this is something that we couldn't let, let like kind of go by facts kind of dangerous uh there's some trends we're purposely not saying certain names just in history but do your homework just in terms of how this go and the dog whistles that go up i mean if there's anybody in recent history that you can sort of track a pattern of this it is donald j trump and i don't know if you're pro trump or against trump but my understanding is that most of the folk at least looking at some of the analytics on ours our end is most of y'all are people of color or and the macroeconomics, at least in the U.S., says that most black folk ain't really trending toward Donald J. Trump. And so it's a bit confusing that you can ignore the same antics and yay, but yet and still we were hitting the streets Facts. talking about Don- Donald yeah. J. Trump. It's the Oppo- same. Opposing him. But yeah, and so we want to like, talk about yeah, this. Yeah, it's confusing. Because it's dangerous. Because we saw how dangerous yeah. it was putting this man that's. Then he just get indicted. Like, ain't he about to go in front of the, uh, like a jury or something? Like, yeah, he's going down. Yeah, yeah. Like, he allegedly, like, about to really be doing some time, allegedly. You know, so this was your president just a couple years ago. Right. Do we really want to repeat this? Right. And then again, and this is what the, the community that everybody seems to be talking about right now that really put the clamps down on them. They've seen this before. And they ain't going back. No. Never again. Never again. And frankly, I ain't even not on my watch either. Facts. We ain't co-signing that. No. And so to see you, Nori, I'm gonna go right back. To see you, Nori, backpedal. Um, that day after was interesting. Word. Word. To Kiki, Cuckoo, all that good stuff. Mm-hmm. I imagine maybe y'all, whenever y'all film, but uh. t- you know, to see to see that was 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 interesting, and um, it says a lot. Yeah, and don't get me wrong. It says a lot. I respect Homeboy's past productions, his past Who you talking shows, about? whatever, Nori's and all that, yeah. No, not Ye. Oh, Nori. Nori. Yeah. Okay. Whatever case, from a podcast standpoint, obviously. Yeah. You know what I mean? Obviously, I'm a fan of the music and all that, but I can separate the two. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm, grown, I'm a grown ass man. I can separate the two. And for, for him to put that out there, it's reckless. I would agree. You know what um, I, mean? I, I, I would agree with that. Um, and he needs to fire his co host. What I will say about <laughs> uh, recognizing somebody for their past, their co-host, DJ EFN, I think he, uh, for the most part of I'm understanding, he's a recognized, credible DJ down there in South Florida, the, the southern region. But what I will say about that is what makes you a great DJ don't make you a great podcast host or and or a gatekeeper for the culture. Because what I saw in that train wreck was a complete dereliction of duty word allowing somebody to leverage this powerful platform that the culture uplifts right right we love we love drink champs we do not anymore at least not me not me right and lost all types of credibility and like you just dereliction of duty and like and like you just said some things are at least for me what i have case in business too much to come back from right so I'm not the the homeboy that just needs to, you know what I'm saying, like, let Mr. Ye talk, the DJ that, DJ he, yeah, that needs to fire, whatever. I'm not disputing what my man did in the past, what he's recognized for, this and that third. I'm speaking about one thing, that interview, and how dangerous it is, whatever the case may be. You know what dangerous, I mean? It's, it's not dangerous, a game. It's dangerous. It is not a game, whatever the case may be. And for them to miss the mark on that, 
Well, it ain't no brother stuff. It ain't no culture stuff. Whatever it's been for them to, you you holding the keys to what culture? You ain't holding the keys to my culture. You don't you don't speak for me. Nobody on that production team. Like it's one thing to have at least a, a co-host with some sense and knowledge and all that other stuff, mm-hmm. right? Like you do your antics, Nori. Maybe you need some help. Right, like right. in the in the area of I don't know stuff like just stuff to really be kind of up on knowledge about like maybe but um nobody in the editing room like nobody like the same yes people that i imagine that's around yay it's got to be the same yes and yay amen people in in the stands talking about amen on nori's team because it's kind of like yo nah we can't do this but we ain't putting this out Bro, I think this is the longest we ever went. He said Adidas. I ain't going. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, on a show. But no, go. Let's like, bro. Like he made reference to himself being Moses, being the chosen one. The narcissist five. No one checked him. You know how dangerous that is. Either you're not checking him, or you riding with him, or you're indifferent. If you're indifferent, what you ignore, you encourage. Brother Nori had a hat on that said 2024. He was all the way saying that's what that's what that's what the wave is. So. Again, um, very, very, very uh, irresponsible, very, in, my, in my opinion. Very. I would love to hear. Uh, we actually would just love to hear what you got to say about it. Yeah, let's let's get the conversation. Leave the started. comments in the comment section. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. It's red. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you hit it. If you want to be notified every single time we drop, make sure you hit that bell notification. This is key. This is T. This is Kiss. I am T. This is T. This is Kiss. And this is Asai. Peace. <laughs> Episode what, baby? 43. See? 40 Asai. See? This got us Episode all jacked 40 up. Episode 40 Asai. Mr. Yeager. Come on, man. I'm